Hello everybody and welcome back for a, another episode of Kids Cooking. So today I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you. Um, I've never seen it anywhere other than in my family. In my family we call it marshmallow squares. Um, but most people when they think of marshmallow squares they think of Rocky Road squares. So um, I'm going to call this Raynell's Grandma's S'more Squares um, because Basically, the ingredients in it are s'more ingredients. You start with a wafer bottom, you melt some chocolate and other ingredients together, and you pour that on top of some marshmallows. And then you cool it, and you have this s'more-flavored square. Um, yeah, so we love this, and I figured what better time than summer to introduce a s'more snack and it's nice it's a nice cold snack because you keep it in the fridge so it's it's nice for those summer afternoons so um in true cooking show fashion i cheated and i did a couple things ahead of time so in an eight by eight pan you're going to grease the pan and then layer the bottom with your graham wafers so i'm going to put that to the side because that's already prepped and ready to go and then we're going to start with the um melting of the chocolate so the recipe calls for half of a cup of margarine and again i'm sure you could substitute with butter in there instead of margarine if you prefer it doesn't have to be melted or anything because we're going to melt it all together anyways okay perfect Also, I always forget to mention this at the very start of the videos, when we're cooking, the most important thing, washing our hands. So if you haven't washed your hands yet, run, pause the video, run to the washroom, wash your hands, run to the sink, and then um, come back and restart. The next ingredient that it calls for is three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips. And I only have a one quarter cup, so I'm going to put three of them in. One, two, and three. Perfect. The next thing it calls for is one egg. So, um, <laughs> I was taught a long time ago, always crack your egg into a separate dish first in case you get some shells in there, and then add it to your main main bowl. Another thing that I learned actually from a patron uh, when we were allowed to meet in person for programming is if you do get a shell in your batter, you take the shell that's left and it will want to like, likes, like kind of thing. So it, when you're scooping your eggshell in there, that little shard that got in there will be attracted to the larger shell and it's easier to um, pick out of your batter then, which is um, a fun little tip. So I figured I'd share that with you guys today. Uh, the next thing it calls for is one cup of icing sugar. And I can't find our one cup measuring cup, so I'm using um, just a regular cup that is um, the same volume wise as a one cup measuring cup. Perfect. Not to make too much of a mess that in. Oops. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put that mix onto our stove top. So we're going to turn it on. And we're just going to melt it all together until it's nice and melted. You do not want this recipe to boil. If it boils, you run to melt your marshmallows and you don't want your marshmallows to melt. You want them to remain in the form that they come in. So this induction hot plate, <laughs> last month's video, it was my first time using it. Wow, does it get hot fast. It's, um, it's awesome. This is already all half melted together so you just want to make sure that all of those ingredients 
are well mixed. Also that that egg is cooked in there. eating raw eggs. So um, if any of you guys have variations of this recipe or any family recipes that you want to share in the comments below that are the same kind of thing that you only see at your family functions, you've never seen anywhere else, drop them in the comments. We'd love to see them. We'd love to try them out. Um, yeah, I've truly never seen this anywhere other than um, with my family. And it's one of our favorite recipes and I said it's perfect in the summer but really truly it's perfect all year round I love this treat so it is very sweet though you will want to um, probably have a glass of milk if you can <laughs> um, along with it all right this is almost all melted together you just have a little bit of margarine still to blend all right, and then I'm gonna take it off the heat because like I said, we don't want it to melt the marshmallows. All right, so once you've got that all mixed together, the next step is you're going to add two cups of mini marshmallows. It says two cups, but I feel like the chocolate to marshmallow ratio will be a lot of chocolate to a lot of marsh or not a lot of marshmallows so totally up to you i'm gonna add more marshmallows into mine because i like marshmallows so i'm gonna add a third cup in here and this um this recipe doubles fantastically into like the nine by 13 cake pan um that's basically exclusively how my family makes it. We never make it in the 8x8. It's always in the 9x13. Because let's be real. You're going to want one more than one piece of this yummy dessert. All right. It's still pretty chocolatey. So I'm going to add uh, another half cup of marshmallows here. So I've now put three and a half cups in. I know last month I was like, oh, I don't edit um, recipes as I'm going through. That was a lie. I apparently edit every recipe that, that I do as I go. Um, but again, it's totally up to you. If you want it to be more chocolatey, you can stick with the two, um, the two cups of marshmallows, or if you want it to be marshmallowy. And so I don't know if you guys can kind of see what's going on. And then we're just going to pour it over our Rain wafers here. I didn't bring a spatula. That would have been smart to have on hand to get all the chocolate out. Perfect. So I'm just going to put this here because I just, oh, I'll put this in here. And then you're just going to spread it so it's evenly coating your grain wafers. Perfect. All right. And then the next step is to put it in the fridge or the freezer if you want it to cool a lot quicker. And then you cut it up and enjoy it. So I'll bring this up here so you guys can see. How yummy does that look? No, I don't want to tilt it too much. All right. I hope you guys have so much fun making this recipe at home. I It's honestly one of my favorite recipes. Um, might have something to do with it being one of my grandma's recipes, but that's just me. <laughs> All right. Um, and she did say uh, things that you can add to it would be coconut or if you wanted a little bit of um, peanut butter in there. I think that would be really tasty too. Um, yeah. Have lots of fun and we will see you guys next month. Bye guys.